Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to today's online class where we are gonna be making corner flip fold cards. These are super easy and I have a tip that it makes it like super snap, but they are really cool and a fun fold. So when you're looking for that something special, this is gonna fit that bill. I'm gonna uh, share how to do this uh, using the card that I have here today. I'll pop down and show it to you really quickly. They're super fun, right? So you open it and you've got this little surprise inside. And then I'll also share um, another technique where you can do the flip fold inside a card base. So you can, you can actually make it the card base or do it inside the card base. I will show you both. And then at the end of this video, I have an entire series of fun projects, including a, a new sneak peek one from the new catalog that I'll share with you guys using this fold. And I'll have some tutorials for these coming up over the next couple of weeks. So let's get started. I uh, Just a heads up, I have a PDF for you. You can download this at stampwithtammy.com simply by clicking the link in this video's description if you're watching on my YouTube or Facebook. And welcome everybody who is. <laughs> I see you guys popping on board. I am alive. Uh, broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube. You may be watching live or you may be watching the replay, but be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Tell YouTube you like it so you can see some more of these awesome videos. And um, when you click that link in the video's description, it's gonna bring you directly to the project page here and you'll be able to download the instructions there with um, all the information that I'm gonna be sharing. So it kind of accompanies the video, but you don't need it. I'm gonna share most of it with you, but it does have some dimensions on it. The first thing I thought I would do before we do the card base is uh, do a little Stampin' Blends coloring for the hummingbird. Isn't he adorable? I love this hummingbird. But he comes from a stamp set called Thoughtful Expressions. Maybe it's a she. It might be a he, might be a she. I'm calling it a he today. Um, and just beautiful, beautiful stamp set. So let's get started with that. And then after we do the, the Stampin' Blends coloring, we'll do the card base. So Stampin' Blend markers are um, alcohol markers and um, they're made to blend so they're they're very juicy wet markers. They come in a pack of two. They We have most of our color line, most of Stampin' Up's core color line um, we have in Stampin' Blends and I'm using today Highland Heather which is a purple. Uh, it's, that's a light purple and a dark purple is Blackberry Bliss. And I'm also using some petal pink, which is also the color of the card base. So it's really nice when everything coordinates, such as your markers and your cardstock. Whenever you work with these alcohol markers, you wanna make sure that you have something to protect your workspace. They are juicy and they're made to be juicy. The, the wetter, the better. <laughs> so if, if the wetter it is, the better it blends, but it could bleed through your cardstock. So you're gonna to wanna to have something underneath it to protect your workspace. And I also recommend using, um, we have our basic white is really good with for the, um, the coloring with the Stampin' Blends watercolor paper. Um, our old shimmer white was really beautiful for that too. So uh, definitely the cardstock that you use matters um, when, you're, when you're working with these markers. So let's do some fun coloring. We're just gonna do some basic blending. And I'm gonna start with the lightest of the colors, which is Light Highland Heather. And I'm gonna start with the very tips of his wings with that light light highland heather and then let's go with uh, the darker highland heather and just add a little bit of touch so I'm kind of making a little ombre effect here going up his wing and then continuing on with the next lightest which would be light blackberry bliss and just a small little section there. And then I'm gonna go with the dark Blackberry Bliss, which is gonna be very dramatic because it's dark, which I, I'm looking for for this particular thing. And I look at the colors of hummingbirds and this one may not be exact, but um, they do seem to have like a very dramatic wing color. I, I kind of added some liberties with the colors and then I'm kind of gonna do the exact same thing down here. Now, when you're working with Stampin' Blends, they are alcohol and the alcohol in them um, causes them to dry very quickly. So if you have a big space, which this really isn't, and I'm just doing the same here, just going with the lightest to darkest of the colors. But if you're working with a, a larger space, you'll wanna color in sections because they, they will dry fairly quickly and if they're dry, they don't blend well. 
So if you find that you're getting like streaks or marks in there, it's probably because your, your marker, you, you, you had a space left too long there and it dried. So you want to work with it fairly quickly. But you can see the ombre effect happening here. Isn't that beautiful? And that's just simple. This is just simple, light to dark purples, um, right up, going right up his wing. And then I wanted the colors to kind of blend in with the project that I was working with. So I'm adding some uh, petal pink, which is going to be very dramatic because obviously I'm working with a really dark purple. Actually, maybe I'll add a little bit of light Highland Heather over that dark line. Maybe go up here a little bit. There's no right or wrong here, so don't feel like, you know, like you have to copy exactly. But, you know, just giving the tips. Actually, I left that a little bit too long in that. Just to give you an example of what happens, it started to dry already. So I want that to blend in. So I'm I'm, oops, I'm trying I'm trying to move my I'm a lefty, so it makes it a little bit hard <laughs> on the video, but I want you to see what's happening here. So I'm I'm going right along that line where the purple is to blend it, so it blends up. And actually, that fades right into that um, petal pink. But then I wanted to add a little bit of the purple. Let's go with the dark highland heather maybe add a little bit on his head fading into that wing and maybe a little bit here on the belly and then I'll go back I'm going to go with the lightest petal pink this time and just blend in what I just added there with the purple so it has a nice little fade and if I find that it's not fading like I want it to I'm going to add a little bit more ink I'm going shade lighter to, to blend that oh I love it I love it I know they're not color combinations you would normally think to use together right but they they look stunning 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 also when you go close to the edge which I I did a little bit see how it bled a little bit off the edge there um, when you go close to the edge you might want to leave a tiny little bit of space because it does tend to spread so that will save the spread but you can see See how it, it bleeds right through and how it goes right on the works? Make sure you save your workspace by covering it. And you want to cover those markers right back up too for the same reason because they will dry very quickly. And then once you've got your uh, hummingbird all colored, we did, he originally when he was released, the Thoughtful Expressions had a die set that had a die that cut out the hummingbird. Um, but that has retired <laughs> and it's sold out. So, I mean, it retired just now. And if you guys are not familiar with Stampin' Up, there is um, a product line changeover every year. There's an annual catalog that comes out and it's happening right now. What happens is the new catalog will come out May 1st, which means there's actually two, a mini and a full size annual catalog that's retiring. And um, April 30th is the deadline to get any remaining uh, last chance products before they're discontinued but a lot of them have sold out already in this die set is one of them but the stamp set is carrying over to the new catalog and if you're interested in getting a hard copy of these catalogs you'll be able to see um, the new one online on May 1st you'll be able to see the old ones online on my site now that you I even have links to them on this project page to make it easy for you you can request a catalog from me as well on the site super just click the catalog button and you can get all the details there. I'd like to make it easy for you. I try to make it easy for you. Um, through the magic of video, while I was explaining that, I've cut out our beautiful little hummingbird, or one just like it. So he's all ready for our project. Now let's jump into making that fun fold that I've been teasing you with. <laughs> okay, so I got a little tip from, it was actually a fairly old video by Jill Olson, and she shared this little template, and I thought, oh! Genius, because I would have made this much more complicated than I think that it needed to be. This is fantastic, and I love this idea, so I'm going to share it with you. Um, this is a two and a half by three and a quarter sheet of, of cardstock. You want something thick, you can even use um, like the thick thing that comes in the bottom of the, I don't have one next to me, the designer series paper. But it just regular cardstock works too. So cut it to that, and then cut it in diagonal. So it's going to look like this. This is going to be, actually, I really need one of these. This is going to be your template. And we'll use that when we do our card base. And really quickly, now that you guys are on board and, and getting ready and I, getting ready to check out the new fun fold, I know sometimes when, we, when I go live, it takes a while before everybody gets the notification. Just a heads up, it is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group blog hop. It's Mother's Day theme tonight. 
And uh, that means that I, I, this is my Mother's Day project. I kind of made it for sympathy, but you can make it, you can see how this would go great for a Mother's Day project. So versatile, which I love when, when projects can kind of be used for cross different occasions. We have a video, it is free to enter and it's for the confetti birthday card kit, which is awesome. It's a shaker card kit. I love shaker cards. I just think they're fun. You don't want to put them down. You just want to keep playing with them. It's free to enter. Just pop on over to my blog post, which you want to do anyways to get that free PDF and leave a comment there. You can take the blog hop uh, tour, see the amazing projects from my Stampin' Demonstrator groups. I always love this time of the month because I always love seeing what everybody's up to. We also share in our Facebook group too, but I love to see it. And drop a comment on each of the blog hops. You'll be uh, blog posts. You will be entered one time per, per post, so you can enter multiple times. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled fun fold. So I've got a card base here. This is a standard size card base. These cards will fit into a regular sized envelope. And this is petal pink, which is one of the colors I used on the hummingbird. And um, I'm just gonna score this in half. So it's eight and a half by five and a half, which is very, this is our very standard card. It's half of a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I'm gonna put that into four and a quarter and just score it in half. So this is our, our very basic um, sized card. Bone folder to, to burnish that. Okay, now you're gonna flip when you see how easy this little template makes this. Now normally I might have put a little tick mark here and a tick mark here and scored with the scoring blade and that would have been, that would have been fine. But this makes it even easier. So you've got your, your t half of your template, which is all you need. Line it up with the upper right corner so it's gonna look just like this. And then um, I have the take your pick tool in my hand right now. This comes with a, a Swiss army knife of the, uh, the crafting world, right? Because it's got a paper piercer on one end or a, yes, this, both of these ends are stylus, sorry. It, but it also has paper piercer. This is a, a small and a large stylus. We've got, uh, this is our little pick your picker upper. You can also get the, um, the die brush end. And now we even have, um, the, the cutting thing, all these little pieces that you can you can get with it. And this actually helps you lift up parts up when you make a boo-boo. So anyways, great uh, tool to have. One of the, I, I call this one of the staples. So I'm just holding this, this little cardstock template here and I made it um, a bright green color. So it was super easy for you to see on the petal pink cardstock. And I'm taking the stylus and I am just scoring a line right across end to end where um, the template is laying. So once I've got a good score line there, I'm gonna flip it over to the back and do the exact same thing, but now, oops, sorry, I wanna make sure I've got, yep, yeah, okay. So you're gonna to wanna to flip this over as well and now it's gonna line up with the upper uh, right-hand corner, so the opposite side, so that you're gonna get, they're gonna meet right down here in the middle so let's score that. Now your, this template, this little template is gonna be your friend for this entire project. You'll use it again when we start cutting. So I've got score lines here. Bam, I love it, right? So then I'm just gonna fold that in. Boom, card, card fold done. I told you it was super easy, right? So when you're looking for a quick card to, to make that has that special little something, this is your meal ticket right here. Boom. Love it, right? So that is basically the fold. And now we want to decorate it. So I'm taking some designer series paper and I am going to use some from the Flowering Zinnias collection, which is in our online exclusives. Super pretty paper. So I've already got these cut to size. And again, all the measurements are on the... Um, free PDF. But just a quick, just a quick look at this paper. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's a whole matching suite that goes with this stamp set size, but gorgeous paper. I love it. I use it a lot. <laughs> if you follow me, you probably see, we've seen quite a few projects with it. Okay. So now I'm going to take and just lay the, um, designer series paper kind of the way I want it to go. This is gonna, I want these two pieces on the inside, right? So they're gonna lay like this on the inside. So I'm gonna put them like that and put this like this. So they're laying exactly the direction I want them in. 
And then I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to use this template again. I'm telling you this template's your friend. Okay, so this is the card fold, and this is how I want the template to cut, right? So it's going to cut so that it's going to match the card fold. So I'm going to hold it right up against that corner, and there's three pieces of designer series paper here, and they're all facing the direction they're going to face on the card. So basically the two insides are facing each other, the pattern I want to use is facing each other, and the one on top is facing out. Now we can cut them all at the same time, right? Oh, I love it when things work out like that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm holding that in the upper left-hand corner, exactly how I want it to cut, and then I'm lining it up with the guide on my trimmer. And I don't know, let's see if I can get you in a little bit closer, but I think you can kind of see, right? So it's lined right up here with the guide edge, and now I'm just gonna cut right, boom. So now, if I've done this correctly, and let's hope I did, yep. Awesome, right now, here's my tip. You hear me say if I did this correctly. Whenever you're working with a brand new fold, I always recommend testing it out with some scrap paper, either scrap paper that you've used to color on, like we colored with the Stampin' Blends, or uh, scrap printer paper. I always recommend testing it out there so you, you get the kinks out if, you know, just in case something doesn't go exactly how you expect it to, and that way it is, when, when you go with your good cardstock, oops, these are gonna go this way. And they're gonna line right up on the inside, right? Now, one thing I found when doing this is that I wanted to, if you're gonna use these upper uh, corner pieces, you're gonna wanna cut like an eighth of an inch off of them. So we don't really need the front one, but I do want the two inside. So I just to make them fit I, the way I wanted them to fit. I mean, they will fit without without kind of shimming them, but I think they fit better if you shim like an eighth of an inch off. I'm sorry, I did that right off of the camera, but I'm gonna do another one. So I just kind of shimmed the corner and the angle. And I've got two on there at the same time. So they're all done. And they are gonna go just like that. Right, super easy. So we can go ahead and do our assembly so that's all put together. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, it's beautiful, um, but where am I gonna write? We've got polka dots all over everything, right? I love the polka dots, so that's why I added that. So next, I'm gonna add a white layer, and guess what? We're gonna do it exactly the same. Let's go ahead and put this down, and then we'll we'll add another, just a small layer of cardstock on it over the polka dot. Now, I wanted the polka dots to show so I did um, a little bit of a smaller piece of white for um, for our words. And, and I, again, measurements on that free PDF on my blog. Click on the link in the video's description. Take the blog hop tour while you're there and enter the giveaway all in the same place. And I'm just using seal adhesive for my um, adhesive, which is it's a double-sided tape runner. You don't have to wait for that glue to dry like you do if you're using the, the liquid glue, which I, I prefer the seal adhesive personally. Okay, so we've got that all put together. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, now I've got, I wanna add some white to this. If you have a white card base and you leave it white on the inside, you don't need to do this, do this step. If you're using a dark card stock um, and, and you want some white, then you'll wanna do this step. Or you can you can do them the same size as I just did the polka dots. Your 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 choice. But I cut these down so the polka dots and the front were all cut to five and a quarter by four. Don't need to write it down because it's on that free PDF. These are four and three quarters by three and a half. I cut them smaller intentionally because I wanted a, a bigger gap there to show off that pretty polka dot paper. Okay, I know you're gonna be shocked here, but again that same template told you it's the hero of this card right and I'm just gonna line it up I've got two pieces of card stock together you can do them individually whatever whatever floats your boat and we're just gonna do the same exact thing here and cut that and then these are going to layer on the inside to right so go ahead and add those 
And then it's just a matter of adding. So now we've got our, our card base all put together. Do you see how quickly that happened? Super fast, right? Now it's just a matter of adding in um, our little pop-up piece and maybe a little, some sentiment for the front. So let's, let's finish the front. I took some words here and some circles. Actually, I'll move these in here. I cut these circles out of the everyday um, details dies. These are Stampin' Up! Sells these. They're available in my online store. I should know everything that I'm using is available in my online store and I have a full list of everything. So if you saw something that you loved there and want it, you can click on the link in the video's description and go right to shop online or go right to stampwithtammy.com. It's all there but on the PDF as well to make it easy for you to see. So this is everyday dies that I used for these circles. And then for the words, here are my thoughts today came from Thoughtful Expressions. And thinking of you came from wonderful thoughts. And the beautiful thing about wonderful thoughts isn't just that it has all these occasions so you can make the same card pretty much for any occasion, but it's got dies to cut out the words. So there's a coordinating die set, which what I love, I love. So for the front, I'm gonna take some seal adhesive and attach the circle down below here and then I'm going to use some pop-ups, some pop-up dimensionals, and I'm actually just using the edge here of the dimensionals because I feel like that might be a little bit too thin for a full dimensional. Just to give it a little pop and to have it stand out. I thought the circle helped it stand out amongst all the beautiful flowers that were growing on the front of the card, and, and then it just kind of pops at you. Now for the inside, let's go ahead and I've cut a flower out of that designer series paper, the flowering zinnias designer series paper. We've got the colored um, hummingbird. And if you missed the very beginning where I colored the hummingbird, you can catch the replay um, after the live is finished. If, you, uh, if you're watching live, sometimes I know you don't pop in right at the beginning and you can always catch the replay for that. If you're watching the replay, I'm sure you started at the beginning. So and you, I, I'll put chapter markers in this after so you can kind of go forward and back at your own leisure. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add this flower and just put that on the inside for a little special something. Just have that growing right up the side maybe, or should I put it this way? What do you think? I like it better like that. You guys think like that? Yeah. And we'll add our hummingbird to the larger circle and that's the one I'm going to attach to the card. So that's this is what's going to pop up when it's open. So first I opened it all the way and then I put this, I lined it up so that this is straight when the card is open because when it closes, it's gonna twist. So I wanna make sure that I have it when, it, when the card is open, it's gonna be straight up. So I'm gonna put the adhesive behind that little corner. You can use seal plus if you want there. That's, um, I only wanted to attach to this top triangle which I may have put that in the wrong place I did I put that on the wrong side so there's several things I can do here but the first what I'm gonna do is cheat and put some cardstock over it <laughs> listen there's a million different ways you can fix a mistake and in case this happens to you that you accidentally put it on the wrong side there you go no one's gonna know <laughs> I just covered the adhesive you could use an adhesive remover too so it's actually behind the hummingbird side that I, I want to put the adhesive. I put it on the, the wrong side there. Make sure that's down good too. Okay. So we'll attach that. And you can go right up to the crease line. Oh, Now see his wings here? I'm going to need to move him because his wings are going to go into the crease line. Or I could just twist it so they're up. But if they're up, I feel like they're going to they're gonna pop off the card when the card is closed. And then it doesn't fit into a standard envelope. So Let's reposition him. Let's put this on straight. Okay, so that's up there, right? Make sure it's not attached anywhere I don't want it attached to. Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> it's gonna be one of those episodes. I had it right the first time. It was supposed to go this way. I had the, I had the adhesive on the right side the first time and I messed it up, so. Stop laughing at me. Okay, you can laugh. That's pretty funny. So now we're just going to move my little... <laughs> I 
I know you guys are probably yelling at me like, no, you had it right. You had it right. Sweet goose. Okay. So the adhesive goes behind where I had the ear in my thoughts because it's, it's going to go this way. I'm like, I knew that didn't seem right. So there. So it goes like this. <laughs> All right. No problem. No problem. Never. You know what? There's no reason to stress. You make a mistake. There's a million ways to fix it. I'm here to, I'm here to show you one happens to all of us. And two, what was I going to say? I thought, I thought he popped off like that. Okay. There we go. So now he doesn't show it's going to fit in a normal envelope and pop up surprise when you open up your, your card. So that is the, um, pop up, pop up the corner. <laughs> I can say this corner pop up flip card, corner flip up card but it's like a little surprise inside, right? So um, let me show you uh, another, I'm gonna show you another pop-up flip card and another way to do this. But first, I just wanted to share another card I had done previously during my arrow fold card series that I used that hummingbird. And I just, I love him. Again, he's from Thoughtful Expression, so I just wanted to give him a little extra attention. Okay, so now I have a second card design. This one, brand new, brand new stamp set coming out in the new annual catalog that I just shared. Remember, this one's coming up in, um, the annual catalog will be coming out in May 1st. Um, so this one is called Adventurous Sky. That's a stamp set right there. And this one, you'll see it's a full card base, standard size full card base here. And I have an insert inside that's going to pop up and surprise your loved ones with that cool little plane flying on the inside. So let me share how I did the card base. Now the coloring on this one, uh, pretty much it's for, this one's very basic stamp and blends on the inside. And the, the plane on the front, I made with the die set. So the dies that come in that adventurous, the, the bundle, this die set that comes with it. So I am going to share, just it's basically the same thing, it's just you're, you, you're doing a, a second piece here. So instead of the card base being the full flip, we are going to have a card base and then an insert that flips. And this color that I'm going to use, this bright peach color that I'm going to use is from the new ink colors that are coming out in the new catalog. So really quick, uh, I, I'm, I have a special offer happening right now with these new ink colors where you can get a bundle. I have three different bundles to offer and three to, depending on your budget or what supplies you want. And uh, you can get that at stampwithtammy.com from now until April 30th. Let me just share before we go into this, I, I have to share these beautiful colors because they're just so pretty. I always love new colors, right? So let me just back out a hair so you can see this. Um, these are the new colors, the new in colors that are coming out May 1st. They're not even out yet. We have Pretty in Pink, which is actually a return from a long time ago. Summer Splash, Shy, Shy Shamrock, Petunia Pop, and Peach Pie. And they come in blends, markers. I don't have everything out here. Ribbons, cardstock, designer series paper. We have embellishments. And so um, the bundles that I have to offer you um, have a mixture of either everything if you want it all I have an all, I want it all button easy button and if you save 30% off of the um, catalog price or I have smaller bundles that have um, a little bit of everything and the other thing that is available when you purchase that is I have created a free interactive card class this th this class I made exclusively for um, my customers who purchased the the bundle from me and I'll just share a quick this is another new stamp set, but this here is um, a slider card, super fun. So that's one of the cards that um, we'll be making in the class. And, the, and I, there's three different designs here and there's 15 cards total, but this is a pop and slide card. So I'll be sharing how to make that as well, as well as these other ones. I'm using the Attention Shoppers stamp set, which is also brand new with, with this class. Um, you can use it or you can improvise. I also have a, you know, you can purchase that with your bundle if you'd like it. But just wanted to throw that out there. That offer is available until April 30th, and it's a good one. So peach pie is one of those colors. So that's my card base. My insert, I made a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's eight inches by five and a quarter, and it's scored in half at four inches. 
And I know you're gonna, by this point, you've probably caught on, right? We're gonna bring that template back just for the insert now. This is just on the insert. I'll leave this here so when it opens, you can be reminded of the, what, we, what we're using. And the last is because I am blind. I know you guys, some of you can feel my pain. So upper, upper left-hand corner with a template and then the stylus. And if you guys missed, missed this part, I'm showing it again, you're gonna do the exact same thing if you were doing it on the card base too. Same template and everything. So just one template, one size fits all. So I'm using the stylus end to score the front and then I'm gonna flip it over to the back and I'm flipping this over to the back and now it's gonna line up on the, when you're on the back, it's backwards, right? It's gonna line up on the right hand side. And scoring that as well. And so when you're done, you've got this, it's harder to see on the white. I know the original I did in a, a color, it was easier to see, but that's okay. You, you, got, you got it, right? I mean, it's the same exact thing. It's just a smaller piece. So this is now our insert as opposed to our card base, but it's pretty much exactly the same. And then you're just gonna attach it to the inside of the card base and now you have a, a, a normal looking card base on the front, so it doesn't have the, the uh, cool angle on the front. It's just your, your regular standard card base. Again, a surprise inside. So I'll just go ahead and show you how I attach it really quickly. There is, a, there is an easy way to do it. So just put your adhesive on one side. Line up this with the center, you know, your, your center score line, and then kind of line it up with the card there. Attach that down. So we're attached on one side, and then once that's attached, then just put your adhesive on the second side, and bada bang, bada boom, done. That's So that's how you to create the insert. So we have two different styles of, of, the, of the corner pop here, corner flip card. One is it's got the cool angle on the side, and you've got the pop up inside, and one is using two pieces of, of um, card stock, or two half pieces here one for the card base and one for that surprise inside. All right, as promised, <laughs> but as promised, I have an entire series to share with you guys. Um, I'm gonna start, uh, these are really cute. I'm gonna start with the fluffiest friends because they're adorable. This is another, um, it's a stamp set and bundle that's in the online exclusives in my online store and they're just adorable, absolutely adorable. So. This one, I created the um, flip card base, just the card base to flip. And then I added this, it, a little square here with my little uh, cat, my little kitty and her flowers on the front there. And it just looks really cool. I think it looks really cool. I love the angle look on it. And so we've got the pop-up inside and we've got Pooh Bear and a little, <laughs> I've got, this is from the die set, the die here. It's got the little um, bees and the little bees flying around. So. That's a little surprise inside, surprise, for uh, to, to share with those you love. And um, this was actually, if you're in my VIP club, this was a class I had done a couple of months ago. It was a fun fold class where we had, I'd used the same stamp set and we, we did some fun classes. Those pop up and then this one, a panel fold card. And uh, just really fun, but just sharing how um, these, the fluffiest friends works. So they're just they're adorable. If you are not in my VIP club, you can check that out on my blog as well, stampwithtammy.com. On the you can even go to the the information is also linked on the um, project page. But when you join, you get a free take take your pick tool that we use today. So that's also another bonus. But on top of that, you get free classes from me that are exclusive for my VIP members every month. You get special deals like on the in color bundles I just shared. You get ten, they get ten percent off, so they actually get forty percent up to forty percent off of those bundles, which is an amazing deal, right? And other specials that I uh, that I offer because I love my club. So all those details are also on um, my blog. But this was one of those classes that you can get free when you're a VIP member. Okay, also in the online exclusives, I kind of was playing around with online exclusives. 
um, is this adorable truck. Remember the truck punch? The truck punch that was so popular. It sold out like in minutes and then everybody was looking for it. I, I always say when there's a new release, like these new in colors, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those go on back order right away. Um, this, this truck punch did and then it was all the rage. And that truck is just so adorable. So I mean, it was kind of like a rustic, like old farm was what I was thinking going with this. And the pop-up on the inside, I used the rustic crate for my rustic look here and the um and so the truck on the outside and the rustic crate on the inside and then this is some new designer series paper it's called country uh, Brahms, country woods designer series paper where it's all like different uh, wood grain backgrounds so i thought that that went with the vintage look and the oxidized paper on the front so the truck the, it's got the, the matching punch and the stamp set from trucking along and then I just brought in, um, this is a double Z fold using that rust from the rustic crate. So we could, just another use with that, with that rustic crate. And then this is another VIP class that I did and it was all fun folds using the, the, um, the truck. So all kind of fun ways that the, that I used the truck and I just kind of had little, uh, special scenes happening. You know, like it's, you see the truck on the front and then when you open it, there's like a surprise scene inside. So this was another VIP class I had done earlier this year using the truck. So just some more ideas sharing that, that trucking along. And the last one I have to share is actually brand new. And you guys, maybe you've, maybe you've received this, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, maybe you've got this already. This just came um, two days ago while I was making these, so the timing was perfect. It's the Delicate Wings. Uh, paper pumpkin kit. This was the April kit. So I was super psyched that it popped in my mailbox and I was like, yes, perfect timing. And it makes these cards. It's gorgeous. This is just stunning, stunning kit. If you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a monthly subscription kit and every month it's something gorgeous. And every month I, I make the cards. These are the cards the kit makes and it makes, I believe three of each, so nine total. And then I take the same supplies from the kit and I do alternates. And I even um, have a PPX program if you are um, a subscriber with me. So you'll get six alternate videos for myself and my PPX crew. And um, so that is also something fun to look forward to. This, <laughs> so why, the reason why I'm bringing the paper pumpkin up is because it came right at the right time. So boop, I, I made an alternate with the, um, the corner pop-up flip card. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I love it. And this share, so this was actually the card base. So it's this card base right here. And then I added a white insert. So it was, it was even white on white, but I kept the card base as it was and added a white insert to it for that pop-up uh, butterfly. So that was super cool. Um, that was the April paper pumpkin. Right now we're in that. You need to subscribe by the 10th of every month in order to get that month's kit. So right now we're in the subscription period for May. And May is going to be a masculine man theme card um, kit. So looking forward to that. You can subscribe at stampwithtammy.com. You can also get more information about it, um, the subscription plans. And um, also the, the price of Paper Pumpkin is going up May 1st. It's not a ton, but a little bit. Every little bit is something, right? Uh, you can purchase a prepaid uh, code in my online store for one month, three month, six month, and 12 months. You can purchase that prepaid code now. You can even purchase multiple like prepaid codes now and at the current rate and then use that um, for the May kit and or beyond the May kit. So you'll get the old, that's just, it's just a little way to get the old pricing, you know, get the, the old pricing on the, on the newer kit. So it's kind of a, just a little loophole. So heads up on that. You can purchase those in my online store too. I hope you have enjoyed this class as much as I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making these. And um, if you have any questions at all, be sure to drop me an email at Tammy at stampwithtammy.com. There's also a form on my blog. And be sure to take that blog hop tour on my blog and download the PDF, enter our giveaway, and have a lot of fun with this. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.